Greetings and welcome, my name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and what I wanted to do is show you what we will be making in this upcoming series. So I have a fully functional inventory system here. I can scroll through it, I can use items, I can discard them, and then I can also continue scrolling all the way to display any of the items that are in my inventory and display their description right here. I can also organize them by name and by amount. And if I pick up any items, you can see here that it is going to be updated. Now I have two blue books. Things will be added to my inventory as they are picked up or added to the inventory through whichever means that happens. So this is a fully functioning inventory system and what's really cool about it is that if you change the size or you change the sprite that is displaying it, it'll actually adapt to that new, that new sprite fairly well. You can see here that I have a much larger inventory and it still displays perfectly properly, which is really cool. Now, a forewarning, this is going to be a very complicated series. It's going to be very in-depth and require a lot of programming knowledge and experience. But I am going to explain every single thing I do along the way in the best possible way that I can. And this entire project is available to download in the description below with comments on everything I do. So you can download that now and you can pick that apart if that's how you learn. If you are starting out or you're fairly new, I encourage you to look at my other tutorials that tackle some complicated things, but not as complicated as this, and then come back when you're more familiar. Now, if you're looking to create an inventory system and don't really know how to start, and you don't want one that looks like I've got here, that's perfectly okay. The first couple of videos are gonna be all about setting up any inventory system that you're going to have. And then from there, when you understand how I've created it, and then how I'm displaying it like this, you can change that code to fit however you want it to be displayed. And that is perfectly fine. If you understand what I'm doing here, you'll be able to make any kind of inventory system that your heart desires. So I hope that is helpful and I am super excited to jump into this. I hope you will join me. If you run into any problems, if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. If you run into any issues, shout out and that way everyone can learn from mistakes that you've made or maybe mistakes that I made. Let me know and I will get those fixed as fast as I can. But that's what I've got for you for this video. As always, have fun making great videos and I will talk to you later. Have fun making great games. Ah, you know the drill by now. If you find the content on my channel useful and you like it, consider supporting me on Patreon. All of the people on the screen are doing so and they are awesome and they get rewards and you can join them. So uh, thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.